with you. I thought you were fast asleep. It's the cobbler. He's still locked up in the prop room. Make some sense, darling. What are you talking I'm about? I'm trying to tell you. I locked him up last night just before the performance. I had to. He insisted on giving you some shoes. Imagine, five minutes before the ballet began. I had to lock him up. And he never saw the ballet? You kept him locked up? I forgot, I tell you. Oh, you big fool. I had other things to think about just then, but a crazy cobbler. Quickly, Selim, go to the theater. Run and bring him back here. Yes, madame. Oh, that poor dear man. And you, you monster, you better <laughs> stay under there. Try popping your head out and see what you get. The lamp over it, I promise you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Hans. I am going to call you Hans now. What a dreadful thing to have happened. Are you all right? Oh, yes. Oh, I'd just like him to have done such a thing. Come. Here, sit down. Would you like a cup of chocolate? No, thank you. And you miss seeing the ballet. Well, we will do it again two nights from now, and you will see it then. But I did see the ballet. You did? Yes. How? I thought you I were... was. But I could hear the music. And I knew the story the music was telling. I didn't have to see you dance with my eyes. Oh, Hans, how very dear you are. And how I love to dance it. I don't know quite why. It's very strange. Even when we rehearsed it, I felt something sad and tender. I don't know why. I know why. You do? Mm -hmm. Tell me. I think it was your answer. My answer? I let my heart speak to you with the story, and... Last night, you answered me with yours. Hans, tell me something. How did you come to write that story for me? How else could I tell you how I felt? That I knew how miserable you were with him. Miserable? With my husband? Yes, I, I don't think you knew I was there, but... I saw the way he treated you. I saw him slap you. I heard you cry. Oh, Hans. How else could a cobbler speak to you? It's arrived, my darling. It's here. Good morning, Anderson. Your present angel. My apologies for last night, Anderson. Now, you must forgive me. It was your ballet I was thinking of, not you. Did you tell him what a great success it was, my darling? For a great, great lady of the ballet. Well, open it, open it, my darling. Don't you want to see it? We shall be poor for the next year, but I had to have it for you. The, uh, the best part's on the other side. Turn it over and read it. Read it aloud. I want to hear you say it. Now, I'm not a poet like you, Anderson. But once in a while, even a fool like me can speak of love. Are you pleased, my darling? Read it for me. Not now, Anise, later. <laughs> well, you're not shy, suddenly. Never mind. You can do anything you wish this morning. Though she danced like an angel, Anderson, I could cover you with kisses. Please don't, Anise. Oh, now, haven't you forgiven me? Well, Anderson has, I'm sure. Oh, she was furious at me for locking you up. But no harm has been done, now has it? <laughs> it's even rather amusing. Oh, 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 don't you look so stern, my dear. You were laughing about it yourself. I heard you. Nice. Don't tell me I didn't hear you laughing. I did. <laughs> even under the covers. Be quiet. Well, what's the matter with you, Dora? Hans, it doesn't matter why you wrote the story for me. It's a beautiful story, but whatever the reason... It's a lovely and tender story by itself. But I shall remember what you told me every time I dance it. Anderson, we haven't paid you for it, have we? Oh, Nils, do be quiet. But, darling, we want to pay him for it, don't we? We'd like you to write some more for us. Have you any other stories we can use? No, I, I'm, I'm afraid that one was just an accident. I, I don't think I'll be writing anymore. I guess it's all right to deliver these now. Some shoes from the cobbler. Thank you, Hans. Uh, but Anderson, I Please let him go. Goodbye, Hans. Doro. Doro, what is it, my darling? 